Hey guys, my name is Kaylin. I also go by K-Cray, and I am your coach of the LA Spice, the spiciest draft team there is. And this is the draft analysis for our team for the APA weeks five through nine. Yes. <laughs> um, I have already uploaded a video battling with this team, so y'all already know a few of the mons, six to be precise. Uh, but I figured I would go ahead, go over the rest, go over the nicknames, that sort of thing. You know, the amount that I can actually contribute in terms of their prowess and whatnot is minimal, but I'm gonna do my best, and let's see how this goes. Again, this is gonna be sort of an all-in-one-take sort of thing, so just expect me to be a person. Okay, so first up is Megalopunny, Absolute Fire. Named her dad. <laughs> her name is dad. Um, 135 base speed is amazing. 136 attack is also amazing. With the access to Scrappy. It's it's a great mon. In, um, you know, it would have been better in the first game. But something happened with the friendship. And... Although I put it in, I don't know. I don't know how to do it, clearly. Because it messed up. But normally, very good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Next up is Azumarill, who is a thick boy with huge power. You can also run Sap Sipper sets. I've seen that. That's kind of nice. Uh, its nickname is Kazumarill, for obvious reasons. Uh, it has access to... Uh, Aqua Jet, which is nice because its speed is not the best. Uh, but on top of that, with Belly Drum, it can be an absolute threat. So, gonna see some pretty spicy sets in the next few battles from Kazumarill here, I believe. Next up is my love, Alola Ninetales. Icy Spice, who is beautiful. You get Snow Warning in conjunction with Aurora Veil, which is a really really amazing combo it's also decently fast base 109 allows it to outspeed a lot of threats and um it also has uh, freeze dry which means that it can hit water type super effectively with a stab move which is also nice uh next up zygarde 10 percent i named him 10 out of 10 we actually faced him in our first battle with wolf who we found out uh, Zygarde has access to extreme speed and it can really turn a match around. <laughs> uh, but honestly, Zygarde 10% is an amazing mon. It has access to a thousand arrows, which is potentially the best move in the entire game. Uh, so, and he's a cute dog. My entire, my entire team is like bunnies and foxes and dogs and cute cats and things. And then there's like a house and a dragon and a tree, so it's fine. Uh, next up, Espeon. Let's be honest, pretty good. Honestly, sort of the beta version of Mega Alakazam who we had in our last in our last draft. But uh, HP Fire Espeon is commonly known to be a Celesteel counter uh, in in all in all uh, platforms, to be honest. But base 130 special attack is pretty crazy. Magic Bounce is a great ability, which I actually forgot about in my battle against Envy. But it uh, pretty much takes any non-damaging moves and bounces it right back, which, you know, I knew because I've used Espeon before, but I'm just silly. Next up, Stack Attacker, who I named Mobile Home for obvious reasons. It has a base 211 defense stat and a base 13 speed, which means that with a 131 attack stat, Gyro Ball is madness. We have Four times weakness to both ground and fighting, which is not ideal. But, but, Trick Room is a thing that it gets. You out, you get to go first, but you can still do the powerful things and, you know, you, you can potentially be a pretty devastating mobile home. Next up, we have Dragonite, who I named, what did I name it? Oh yeah, Poob, because it's a funny word. Um, if you don't get hit by Stealth Rocks, Multiscale is a really lovely ability that essentially halves the damage that you take when you're at full health, I believe is how it works. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. 
Uh, it also has access to Dragon Dance, which means that its base 134 attack stat can be pretty monstrous. Uh, it has access to Extreme Speed as well. It's a good Mon. He's cute. His name is Poob. All right. Uh, next up, Trevenant, who is not the best. But it has natural cure, which is pretty fire. It also can do things like trick and shadow sneak and, you know, randomly apparently has earthquake. So, like, that's pretty cool. I don't know what we're going to do with Trevenant in this league, but it may come back. Obviously, with the ghost typing, it's uh, good to prevent people spinning things away. So that's another bonus, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. His nickname is, what did I name it? Oh yeah, the only acceptable Trevenant nickname, Treebeard, which if you know what that's from, I respect you. And you're also gonna know consequently what the next nickname is from because it is Houndoom, whose nickname is Balrog. And uh, Houndoom doesn't get a lot of credit, but base 110 special attack and access to nasty plot isn't anything to turn your little puppy nose up at uh so you know boop the snoot except town doom maybe someday he'll pull it off 95 speed not the best admittedly but it can outspeed some things and uh maybe with the dark typing he's gonna come in pretty clutch we'll see next up is reggie rock who i named reggie rock you obviously uh and uh, once again we have Another absurdly bulky boy with 200 base defense. He is a pretty decent stealth rock user, gets access to earthquake, that sort of thing. He's a really good toxic staller traditionally. I don't know if we're gonna do that, but it's always an option. And uh, clear body is a nice ability. I don't think I would ever run sturdy with the uh, base 200 defense, but you never know, it could come in handy. And last, but certainly not least, I have Luxray, who I named Simba. Luxray is my boy. I've gotten two full-on shiny Luxrays in my life. Shinxes, but you know. And I just, my heart, my heart is here for Luxray. He's not the strongest, but it has guts, access to facade. So you can have a pretty, pretty spicy attack there. Obviously you're gonna be taking damage from Flame Orm or whatever each turn, but who cares? It's fine. He's cute. Intimidate's also a good ability. Huh. But you never know. Again, we could have some pretty spicy combinations this draft. I'm really excited. I think that everyone is super cute. I love the mons in our draft. I'm a person who, if I don't personally like the Pokemon, I don't care how strong it is, I don't want to use it, <laughs> uh, which is possibly stubborn and possibly going to cause me to lose in this league, but at least I'm going to be happy about the mons that I'm using. You know what I'm saying? Stay true to yourself. And hopefully one of these days we will pull out a win. If not, we're just going to continue to have fun. Have a great time with this league. Learning a lot from people who are giants in this field. A lot of really incredible battlers. And I've gotten to battle people who outside of this league, I would never have the opportunity to battle. So that's kind of what I've been saying to myself is like, these are really weird life things that you're getting to do. Even if you're not the best, at least it's a cool thing that you can be like, I battled a world champion once. I didn't get 6 would You know what I mean? I did get 6 would in yesterday's battle, but that's another story for another day. Uh, yesterday was that day. We're not talking about it anymore. But anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching this weird rambling draft analysis in which I gave you no information other than my nicknames and personal opinions about these Pokemon. But, you know, I hope that that was enjoyable for you. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for all of your support. It warms my heart that you guys are still here, still dreaming with me. And, uh, yeah. Tune in next time for more shenanigans. Bye!